morning, everyone. Long time no film. I feel like every video starts like that. Sorry for the awful lighting. It's like not that nice out. So the other day I fell down the stairs and my tailbone hurts so bad. Um, so it's hard to sit. Good morning, everybody. Everybody. Um, it is Sunday here in New Jersey. <laughs> Who knows when I'll have this video edited and uploaded. But I thought I'd try and film my day today. Um, I wanted to film it yesterday because I had Stella, but I completely just like forgot. <laughs> I started the day and then after she got picked up, I was like, oh, I wanted to film all of this. I need to prop this up somehow. Um, I just want to sit down and chat uh, before like I start filming like the day. I'm having my coffee. I slept till 10 o'clock. Um, I've just been struggling a lot lately. Um, emotionally and with my anxiety because of the transfer that's coming up soon in a few weeks um i'm just not okay i've been struggling a lot buster of course has to go out right now and of course in true gina fashion my camera's gonna die um i just feel like the closer we get it's like the closer to everything i've ever wanted either happening or not happening and then we have to we're, we're closing that chapter um we're closing that chapter mostly because we're out of insurance um and i'm not sure how much another egg retrieval would cost i don't think we can afford buster stop it i'll give you i'll take you out in a minute <laughs> um i don't know how expensive a donor eggs are i just I just don't think I could take any more personally anyway. I think that like, I feel like I've mentioned this in another video. Um, I just can't take much more of it. I am very ready to close this chapter, but as we get closer, I'm getting more nervous that the only dream I've ever had is not going to happen. So, um, I just feel like I've been struggling a lot lately. Hold on, honey. Um, I've also been struggling because I don't have any definitive plans for September yet. Um, school has not told us. Oh, he's so whiny. School has not told us what's expected of us yet. And I have all these families wanting me to do their pods. I just hate that like I don't have a plan. Um, so I've just been struggling a lot. I'm gonna put a pin in this conversation because my dog's about to eat me because he has to go out and my battery's gonna die anyway. Um, so we'll continue talking in a little bit. All right, where was I? Buster has gone out. My camera has charged a little. Um, I think just like all of my struggling lately, um, I'm just, I don't know, I'm trying to stay positive because I truly believe that if it's meant to happen, it'll happen. And if not, maybe we're just not meant to be parents, but I'm also struggling with the fact that like the only dream I've ever had my whole life might not happen. So there's that. I have therapy this week, thank God, um, because I need it. It's like the perfect time. Um, what else? My birthday was last week. I had a great birthday. Um, I'm 34 now. Uh, I'm not okay with that. I mean, I am. I'm fine with being 34. I mean, I'm fine with aging. It's just life. I just feel like on my birthday, I was. I get super emotional on my birthday every year. Like, I'm always like reflecting on life and. I just feel like um, while I'm very happy in my marriage and I love our house and I love our life, I just always thought I'd have a kid by now. So it's just, you know, for anybody that has kids easily, you probably don't wonder like all these things. Um, I just, I just want to know why it's so hard, you know, and I know that it'll, I don't want to start crying on here. I know that one day it'll all be answered and I know that I'm jumping the gun like who knows I could very well still be a mom but I just feel ugh, I don't know so many feelings I'm like a mess <laughs> and I'm sure it's also being on hormones and stuff but I just I'm very happy I try to think of all the positive things like I have a really great husband um, I love our little home I love our families I love my life I love that I don't have to struggle with other things. I love that we're both healthy. Um, I just, that's why I'm, this is one of the main reasons why I just want this chapter to be closed. I either want it to work out obviously, or I just want it to be over because I need to move on. Um, because IVF has taken up two years of our life. We've been trying for six. It's just, it's a lot. 
But anyway, back to my birthday. Um, I worked, which was great because I love those kids so much. I'm so sad for my time to be done with them. I'm done with them on Friday. I am just, we have had the best summer. If you've been around since the beginning of Simply Gina, I have nannied for that family full time. They are just, I got so lucky with them and the kids are just amazing and a part of me feels like this is our last summer and um we just had the best summer i know that covid has changed a lot of things in people's lives but i'm very grateful that it canceled most of their camps and i got to spend so much time with them um we just i just love them so much um i would love to keep them as mine but i can't um i know that they're like even though the summer's over sorry i keep trying to get comfortable with the lighting um there i'm always we're always gonna see each other i just i'm gonna miss seeing them every day um the little one was so funny she's eight she was like gina if you ever have a baby she knows that it's my biggest wish it's been my biggest wish every time we used to go to the mall and make wishes she knew uh, it's so funny how like kids know my nephew the other day also asked me if like i'm still praying for it they're just so funny um she's like if you ever do get a baby like who's gonna watch us in the summer like i love that she thinks that like every summer i'm gonna be there and every summer i will as long as i can um i was like you know what i'll just bring the baby with me if i have one and she was so happy which got me emotional um but yeah so there's a lot going on but i just feel so lucky to have the summer with them i'm so sad friday's my last day with them and then i have a little bit of time off before school starts whatever that looks like we definitely know that my district is going back hybrid i know that a lot of districts in new jersey this week changed to virtual due to certain things that they changed for the restrictions on opening um but we're still going hybrid um i'm just trying to figure out my other situation because unfortunately the school job pays nothing um so i need like supplement income afterwards um, I'm still waiting to hear back from VIP kid. I have like, it's just taking a long time for everything to process. Like I've done everything I can. It's just this background check is taking forever. Um, I emailed them actually and they said it should be done soon. They're hoping they don't have any control over this. Um, as far as they're telling me, who knows? Um, but anyway, sorry for the long rant. I just felt like I owe you guys an update cause I've just not been in the mood to pick up the camera. I'm still doing intuitive eating. I have not weighed myself and I'm feeling really just great about all that um i have not worked out i just have been very tired after work i have no motivation to wake up early um but i have been making sure that i'm closing all the rings on my app like going for more walks during the day um just i feel like that's motivating to keep me active i know that's not enough but it is what it is i don't really care um i have a fresh loaf of sourdough cinnamon bread in the oven that'll be my breakfast um, we are going to my parents today to celebrate my birthday. Um, but yeah, that's it. I did a lot of my cleaning yesterday. I'm not scrubbing. I have no desire to. Um, I did like vacuuming and wiping. I probably should do the floors. I just don't care that much. Um, I did my food shopping yesterday. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's like an update. My, I've got nothing good for you except, you know, I'm mentally struggling. <laughs> But I'll be okay. I know I will. Um, I'm very grateful for everybody that I've met through this, like YouTube and Instagram. Some of the people that I rely on the most are like strangers in real life, but like we talk every day. Um, so I'm very grateful for those friendships. Um, yesterday was a little hard because it was National Rainbow Baby Day, and I'm just, you know, I don't have my rainbow. And, um, you know, I just want to also add that, like, it's okay to unfollow certain things when you're going through certain things. I have to remove myself from a lot of IVF groups on Facebook because seeing everybody getting amazing egg retrievals and embryos, it was just too much for me. I had to unfollow a few people on Instagram because while I'm happy for them, it just reminds me of what I don't have. And I find, I feel like that's okay to do um, because social media affects, um, our mental health a lot i feel like i actually hate social media oh my bread should be done um i feel like it is very evil i think that hold on i think that it's very healthy to take breaks i think that it's healthy to not follow things that bring you down i think that you should only be following things that make you feel good so unfortunately i had to unfollow a few things recently but um 
I just want to make sure that what I'm seeing is something that's making me happy and not something that's making me, you know, feel down. Um, I'm going to pour another little bit of coffee um, and then take, I've got to take cinnamon bread out, but it's too hot to cut. Um, I was actually reading through the recipe and I've been doing it wrong this whole time. You're supposed to let it rise. And then I've never did this um, recipe on a camera, but I will leave the recipe link down below. Um, you're supposed to let it rise for four hours and then make the bread and then let it rise again in the pan. I've never done that. It still comes out fine, um, but I gotta get it out. Um, I gotta switch the laundry and just continue to relax. I'm having a very relaxing weekend. I saw this creamer at uh, Target and I just had to have it. I had to try it. It is delicious. Um, it is just so good. It's not that good sugar wise. It has five grams of sugar. But um, per tablespoon, but it's a nice little, I call like creamers like this, like treat coffee. <laughs> um, but it is so good if like you're interested in, I like to do non-dairy creamer in my coffee just because in the morning the dairy just doesn't settle well with me. Um, and this is a really delicious one. Um, I like the combination of the almond milk and the oat milk. Um, it's super delicious. But yes, I want to show you guys one more thing. My mother-in-law got me a new ottoman for my birthday and I absolutely love it. Um, it just fits the space perfectly. It was from Wayfair. It opens up, it has storage. I love it. And then we put the bench out here and I'm gonna, I plan to paint it and then put like pillows on it as like a little bench. Um, it's just, you know, getting there to paint it. Um, I also bought another, on Marketplace, I bought a, um, a tall skinny shelf and I don't know if I wanna put it here or here we're in the office, but I bought it. It's in the garage. I just had to paint it because it does like, need a little refreshing. But I'm gonna have my coffee, watch a little bit more Sex in the City because I love when that's on. My fire stick broke, I'm so sad. That's another reason why I haven't worked out. I know it's an awful excuse. Um, because I like to watch things while I work out. Um, I need to get a new fire stick. Because I keep forgetting that all of the seasons of Sex in the City are on Amazon Prime. How oh, delicious. Um, I think I might, I wanted to do it today, I just felt like it's a little early. The middle is just like a mixture of cinnamon sugar. I might do a little pumpkin spice and sugar next time I make this. Um, like I said, I never did this in like a video, like fully, but um, I will leave the recipe link down below. You do need to have starter, but I do think they have like a little section in the recipe for like, if you don't have starter, if you just want to use regular, like yeast. It's a very warm day here in New Jersey, but I'm in the mood to smell fall. Um, the blend I have in here today is this. Hold on, let me turn the TV down. Um, I've got this blend. I don't make up a lot of these blends. I find them like on Pinterest or other um, oil lovers' Instagrams. Um, so I've got four nutmeg, I've got four cinnamon, four ylang ylang, two bergamot, and two stressway. Ylang ylang is like my current favorite oil. Um, I'm obsessed. Would you guys be interested in like a full like young living like thought video because I've been doing it for like a year now? Um, let me know down below. I've been thinking about doing that, like products I've loved, products I've absolutely hated, products that I don't think are worth buying through Young Living. Well, I have like so many thoughts and I've really been thinking about making a video about it. Um, so if you guys are interested, let me know down below. But um, this is, smells like pure fall. I'm obsessed. Where's your iced coffee, dear? Right here. All that with creams. He has a mocha latte. I have a caramel latte. We're on our way to my dad's. What are you preparing me, Father? Um, special pizza. Yum. What's going on over here? Burgers. Burgers. How exciting. Does Rob want me to put barbecue sauce in it? He loves barbecue sauce in his burger. <laughs> he doesn't even, last time I put way too much and he was like, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bubbers. What a good girl. Hi, Dad. You're such a good girl. Hello, my bean. Hello. How are you? <coughs> James, tell everyone how old you're going to be soon. <laughs> Eight. Uh, what's going on in here? Look at that. What is that? This room needs a makeover, huh? Ow. Gigi's butt hurts. I fell down the stairs. Uh, 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 uh. Say hi. Hi. 
Say, I'm Stella. I'm Stella. How old are you, Stella? <laughs> Say, two. Two. Do a twirl. Do a belly twirl. What's in here? What's in where? I know. Let's go open it. What is it? Show, Gigi. Can you open it? I think. Yeah, you could open that. It's just toys. Can I open it? Sure. It's Mr. Potato Head. I open it. Okay. Oh, here we go. <gasps> wow, look at all the toys. It's a Mr. Potato. Let's get them. You love to just dump, don't you, kid? Whoa, it's Whoa look at the little potato. Hey, I'm Sammet. A sandwich. Let's build it together. Okay, let's build it together. I love you. It's a Mr. Potato. I'm so obsessed with her. Stella. Where's the Mr. Stella. Where's the Mr. Potato? Where's Mrs. Potato? This one is a potato. Oh, I love you. Stella, look at the camera. Look. <laughs> is it a scale? It's birthday to you. from my family's it's like 6 30 um it was a really nice little time i got just gift cards for my birthday because that's what i wanted and my sister got me i'll show you one second um the other part of the gift is coming in the mail still um the sign that i wanted for my kitchen it says um uh don't forget something about adding the love because i always tell every kid that i bake with don't forget to add the love like you kiss in the love but she also got me these like decal stickers for um like oil things that I make and I was most excited for the thieves one for my thieves um cleaner thingy back there so I'm super excited for this um but I, I wanted to go like earlier in the day and get home earlier because I like to get things ready for the week on Sunday um and I still have to switch the laundry so I'm about to go in the basement and do that oh my god my butt is like hurting extra don't fall down your stairs people um, all right, I need to turn the camera off though, just because I need to lift up baskets and switch laundry. Um, so, or I could just do this, prop you up there. Um, what was I gonna say? I wanted to say something. I can't remember. So, yeah, um, I'm just gonna finish doing some laundry, focus. Um, this is my glorious laundry room, guys. It's so trendy and just, you know, amazing. Um, I felt like I needed to say something. I don't remember. I just got all my laundry put away just in time because it's 8 o'clock, which means I want to be ready for bed soon. Um, I like to go to bed early. I'm still watching Sex in the City. It's now moving on to, like... I think the movie, which I love both Sex and the City movies, um, but I'm not staying up for all that. Um, I gotta finish putting this away and then I gotta go downstairs to take my shot, my supplements, and continue getting ready for my bedtime. Currently I am just on Lupron and Estrogen. Um, this is the pill and... I am taking, well not taking, but I have on um, patch and that's my appendix car. Um, these are where the other patches were. Um, they're easy to come off with like a little bit of um, essential oil. I just haven't done it yet. Um, this one was really irritated. I think it was too low. But yeah, that's my appendix scar. Um, the number one reason the doctors think I'm infertile, but nothing's been like confirmed. Um, they just, because the way that surgery went, I was four, it ruptured. Every doctor I've seen says that it's likely that I have so much scar tissue down there. Um, so, 
that's that. But let's do my shot. <laughs> Um, the Lupron shots are the easiest shots out of this entire process. I do not mind doing these. And that's that. Um, I just have to take the pill now, the ashtrays pill. Oh my god, this is on there. Um, and then I'm going to finish the dishes, set the coffee maker, and get ready for bed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am happy that I got a lot, a lot off my chest today. Um, it's just been, I'm still struggling. I think I'm gonna be this way for a while, but um, it is what it is. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully I can film a what I eat in the day this week. I'm really hoping to do that because I have not done that in forever. See you guys in my next video. Did I say that? Bye.